32 laps remaining here at the 2004 German Grand Prix. Jensen Button pops into the pit lane for a change of tyres. Great stop from the Honda boys. And it's 6.7 seconds, very, very fast stop. Change of tyres and a splash of fuel for the Briton as well as he gets under his way and comes out just behind Fernando Alonso. So 20 laps rejected of fuel, but he's behind Fernando Alonso now, which is not what the Briton wants to be as we cross on board with the number nine Jensen Button, the BAR Honda with a superb engine and superb grip. Already taken a couple of podiums this year so far and he's chasing down Fernando Alonso here at the Hockenheim ring. Just behind a Jordan currently. What about that'll play a factor? The Jordan, of course, currently a lap down on the rest of the field. And about to be lapped by Alonso in his Renault and then Button in his BAR Honda as well. He's coming up on the back straight. Not really a straight, of course. Button looks towards the outside. They're hoping to make a maneuver into the hairpin, but he's not quite close enough as they both negate their way around the Jordan of Giorgio Pantano. He's trying to go up the inside and get the undercut, though, on Fernando Alonso as Jensen Button not quite managing at this stage in the race as they come down towards the bridge of the uh, Mercedes grandstand and in towards the left hand into the infield section. Of course, the infield section really is one man at a time. Not really going to be able to get two cars through there, not unless you fancy losing your front left wheel or your front wing by that matter. So it's just going to be a patient game for Button now on to lap 30 in the Grand Prix. On board with the Briton at the moment. He really has got the edge on performance over Fernando Alonso. Not sure whether Alonso... Um, his tyres are going off or whether he's just running low on fuel or trying to conserve some for later on in the race. Uh, but Alonso really does seem to be struggling and the Renault power plant not necessarily producing the straight line speed that the Spaniard would want. Of course taking one Grand Prix victory today, one more than Jensen Button as he gets ever closer under the braking zone, looks towards the gate, the inside line and the undercut out of the hairpin but can he manage it? Jensen Button and Fernando Alonso side by side through the right hander, doesn't look like he can because Alonso's going to have the line of the left hander. And Alonso uh, gets the line and Button has to go deep as they go towards the infield section once more. So through the right hand they go and you can see that Button in the second sector is just so much stronger than Fernando Alonso. And that really does look like it's going to pay dividends for the Briton. And again, he's so much stronger again in the first sector as well. Out of turn one, into turn two. Oh, takes a bit too much curb and gets a dab of oppo as they come onto the back straight again. The power plant of the Honda really is showing its strain and Jensen Button is driving superbly at the moment as well, both on the Michelin tyres. Don't forget as Button looks towards the outside, can he make a manoeuvre and get the undercut out of the hairpin? Not quite close enough on this occasion, 29 naps now remain of the 2004 German Grand Prix at the Hockenheim ring. Jensen Button currently chasing Fernando Alonso, looks to the inside before the infield section and not quite close enough is Button once more on Fernando Alonso. Of course, the Ferraris currently out in front. Michael Schumacher leading as uh, lap 16 now uh, remaining of the Grand Prix. And another tyre stop for Jensen Button. Let's see how long this one is. Only needs a splash of fuel. 16 laps. And it's 7.1 seconds. A dab slower than his last one. But that'll get him towards the end of the race. And he's coming out. Well, there's Fernando Alonso. Where's he going to come out in respect to him? Oh, Fernando Alonso just gets ahead. Button there holding his crash helmet as well. That's of course the concern. Wonder what's happening to uh, Jensen Button, whether he's suffering a problem, maybe his crash helmet's loose. We'll see as we go on to the back straight again. It's not really a back straight. Yeah, holding his crash helmet again. So Button looks to have problems with his helmet at this stage in the race. Button currently in third, chasing down uh, Fernando Alonso in second place now. Earlier on the Grand Prix, we saw Rubens Barrichello, who was uh, looking to get the manoeuvre as Jensen Button gets ever closer into that braking zone. But... It's uh, Button and Alonso chasing for the second place at the German Grand Prix. 16 laps out of 66 remaining, as we can see. Michael Schumacher comfortably out in front. 15 laps now remaining, and Button just half a second behind Fernando Alonso. And it's a splash and dash and a sprint to the finish for the two drivers, the Spaniard and the Briton, and the French and the Japanese manufacturers. Button again holding his helmet. Really does look to be having problems. Maybe he should hold his... Helmet bit more often because <laughs> he's putting in an astonishing drive on Fernando Alonso looking towards the inside up into the hairpins we're on board with him now and all oh, they're very close side by side out of the hairpin can Alonso manage to defend from Jensen Button he goes towards the outside as Button and looks towards to make a move on the inside of the braking zone fantastic move there from Jensen Button and he gets ahead of Fernando Alonso finally and takes second place in the Grand Prix what an astonishing overtake look at the BAR crew they are Absolutely flabbergasted there with Jensen Button's manoeuvre. What a superb overtake from the Briton, really displaying his wraithcraft.